Welcome to the Hollywood Scholar. I'm Jed Morgan, and it appears to be a trend on my channel to be reviewing dog shit takes from access media sites like Screen Rant and CBR. It just have a lot of terrible takes when it comes to comic books and movies in general. From Captain Carter apparently being better than Captain America and just dog shit like that. And apparently CBR has another take like this that just makes you scratch your head and be like, are there people of intelligence working for CBR or do they have, you know, Marvel's dildo so far up their ass they squeak when they talk. But it looks like that the new Wolverine is better than Wolverine because she cares more. It's kind of the point of Wolverine. He's almost an anti-hero. He, he does care. He, he definitely does care a lot. But um, he he's so broken inside that he comes off as a loner most of the time as if he doesn't care. He really does. But it, it, it just comes off wrong to a lot of people who don't understand how broken this man truly is. So let's see if CBR can <laughs> make a better take out of this and why X-23 is a, a better Wolverine than Logan. Uh, by saving uh, Lady Deathstrike, Lara proved that she has learned from Logan's greatest mistakes and surpassed her father as a hero. And just make your own shit. I'm always going to be on the side of make original characters. I'm not a fan of passing the mantles. Has rarely ever worked. I'm not a fan of children taking it up. I'm not a fan of race or gender swapped version. Just make original characters. And if she just ended up being a better character and more beloved than Wolverine, that's fine. But they made her specifically to replace him and they want her to come up uh, across as better than him merely for the political propaganda that can be attached to her character and they've talked about this before at marvel where it's just like oh we need more women like kevin feige saying the mcu is going to be more women than men going forward and if that happened naturally no one would have a problem with it but it comes across as agenda when they come out and straight up say that's what they want and that's what they're prioritizing is political propaganda and when sites like the cbr jump in on the bandwagon it makes it so much more difficult to enjoy stuff like this. But Lara, they're, they're just saying, oh, she has to be better than him. She has to be because she's got a vajayjay. Vajay. And it, it's just really pissing people off that they're designing characters who are supposed to be better. They never turn out to be better. But everyone acts like they are at Marvel and at these acts of media sites. They're ignoring that she's a worse character. And they're just like, no, 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 she's better. She's better. She's better. But she's not. No, you're just sexist. It's not a way to win a cogent argument. It's just labeling people with stuff like that. We've seen that in all these different franchises and eras and uh, race, gender swapped. It's always going to revert to name calling. <laughs> it's never going to endear yourself to the fans. But the life of Lara Kinney, formerly known as X-23, has been heavily defined by her status as the daughter of Lo uh, Wolverine. Yep. Sample from his DNA. Just going into her backstory a little bit. Uh, Lara encountered one such specter. She came face to face with Lady Deathstroke, one of Logan's oldest foes. Despite being a prisoner and in agony, Deathstrike chose the path of violence. It would have been easy for Lara to respond in kind. A skilled fighter in her own right, Lara likely uh, would have triumphed over the weakened villain. Perhaps she could have ended a fairly consistent thorn in the X Men's side. Instead, however, she made a different choice. So she didn't kill a villain while she was down. Logan wouldn't have done that either. Unless it was like an actual threat and something else was going on. Extenuating circumstances. But if it's like injured chick on the floor, he's not going to just stab her. It's not Logan's character. He's not that evil. It's not. <laughs> While looking over scans, um, clone herself. Yeah, they're, they're just including some details. Lady Destro immediately attacked Laura, assuming the orchids had traded her as a prisoner. Even after luring that Laura had come to rescue her, Lady Deathstrike continued to lash out until the debilitating effects of her adamantine poisoning overwhelmed her. However, rather than capitalize off her foe's momentary helplessness, Laura voiced her sympathy for Lady Deathstrike's uh, condition and carried her safety, much to her opponent's confusion. This is what a hero does! Logan would have done something similar in, in certain comic book runs if they weren't her his darker iterations. But they're like, see, she didn't kill a villain while he was down. And she acted like a normalized superhero that every other superhero would probably do the same thing pretty much. So she's better than all of them. It's like she does the exact same thing everyone else does. But she's got a JJ. So she's better than all of them. Fucking hell. She doesn't care more uh, than Logan. She just did what a superhero does. Wow, we're, we're praising mediocrity now. It's really not good.
<laughs> so after safely returning to Earth, life-saving treatment, uh, turned down the offer. She was grateful and maybe turning down Death Strike down a different path. So <laughs> I'm just not a fan of them acting like this is such a big deal. This happens in comic superhero comic books every day. This is a pretty generic thing. There's nothing wrong with being generic. Like it's a good thing that she did this. It, a good character trait is to saving their enemies, but Logan would have done something similar too. I mean, he, he, he does come across like he doesn't care, but he really does care a lot. He's just broken. He's so damaged from everything that happened to him. It's not like he would have stabbed her to death. If... I don't get why they acted like this is such a big deal. Uh, instead, she's notable deviated from her father's past by taking a more of a merciful approach to dealing with her enemies. So it's a different situation. Logan, if it's in the midst of combat, yeah, he's going to kill his enemy if he has to. Absolutely. And rightfully so in a lot of cases. And uh, X-23 has done the same. But after her enemy is handicapped, disabled, he wouldn't kill her. She didn't kill her. So if anything, they're the same. Although justifying violence against relentless and emotive foes like Sabretooth is easy, the reality is Logan's brutal perpetuated a mutual cycle of violence. It co oh, fucking hell. He's, she's better. She's a like her more. <laughs> she surpasses her father as a hero. In an age where many X-Men have embraced a mutant's first mentality. And yeah, no, that's pretty common. A lot of uh, eras have mutants first, which is, you know, would make sense under certain conditions. But yeah, they provided nothing in this article that would lead me to believe that she was better in any way. The same maybe, and maybe less anger oriented, but Logan would have just stabbed that chick on the ground. So yeah, again, Axis Media saying, ooh, she's so much better. And just, you know, ignoring the fact that these uh, sales numbers are in the dumps that this is a rather ordinary thing for superheroes to do. Superheroes save the villains all the time when the situations like this is pretty common and acting like it isn't is kind of disingenuous. So, and nothing that I don't expect from Axis Media like CBR, nothing I don't expect from Marvel Comic and you know, the political propaganda sphere has gone out of hand. If this has just happened organically, I mean, I'm not a fan of anyone passing the mantle, but if this has happened organically, no one would have an issue with this and no one would be like, see, he's so much better than uh, Wolverine. If anything else, she's just different. It's okay. You don't have to be comparing and contrasting. There's different but equal. He's still a more beloved character because he doesn't have all that extra ba uh, baggage that she does especially right now but you know not surprised in the least but anyway that's all i have for today i'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below please like share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video anon if you like what i do here i want to see good compelling stories that hollywood will no longer give you check out my book series odyssey of a phoenix a mythological epic about philosophy morality and modern day mental illness issues Books one, Down in Flames, and book two, Apocalypse Then, currently on sale. Book three, Kill the Dark, coming soon.